Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Hi, tiger. That's not tiger. Who are you? Who's that cat? I don't know. It just showed up here. Oh, well, it's pretty. Yeah. Is tiger a girl? That might be a Tom. We're working on that line fence today. We've been all over God's country back in here today, walking around. Checking out some projects that we've got going on. <clears throat> the line fence is one of them that y'all been following. You can see the cows coming down into the hay field down there. We're pretty far back from them. So we're putting the line fence in up here. This is a section of ground on a piece of property we bought about five years ago. And we've been fixing it up. Never. Got the line fence, just didn't have a fence between the line. We got the uh, line established between the other guy on the other side. So we join and we're uh, putting the fence up through here. It's uh, going to be five strands of bob wire. It's rough right through here. It gets better on top. Which is just part. <clears throat> when we get it all fenced in, we'll let the cattle have it. We'll clean that up up on top. There'll be grass up there and they can lay in here in the shade. Yep. Perfect for a cattle farm. See if I can hoss my legs over this wire. So the line goes on up that way, up that ledge. And we're parked over there off the beaten path. And so we're back here on the line. gonna be really pretty when we get things cleaned up so we've got a big hay field down there that you see in some of our videos in the summer there's one of our videos that's been really popular with the John Deere baler uh, and this is the hay field back here that Scott was bailing that day and so this is what the landscape looks like on up through there and so up there on top of that ridge we have another section of ground that we're working on and cleaning it up we're not sure how long ago, but the owners before us, or before, I don't know, on back somewhere, they grew corn up there on that ridge. So we're gonna, we've got a bulldozer in up there, working on a project, trying to get us some more pasture ground. We can't bring the heavy heater back here. <laughs> so it's all manual labor. old school fencing so most of these are cedars that they're cutting right here on spot we've got a few metal posts probably been recycled from some other project somewhere the cows have already cleared out hun Scott is way up there Getting a cedar for way down here. That post looks heavy, honey. That ain't too bad. It's too heavy to have to drag. Right out, dude. Right on. Okay. 
So, how much time do you and Ransom have in this fence right now? Man hours, you think? I don't know. We just come back here when we got time. Yeah. Once we get done feeding. Varies different days. According to what kind of problems you have. It's time though, right? We've been working on it off and on since back in just August. Just yeah. Getting it clear, but we kind of picked up the pace here in the last month. Where it needs to be. Yep. Hey y'all, it's December 15th and you know what that means? That means it's bull moving day. Today's the day that we're going to be releasing the bulls back out into the pasture with the cattle. And so I'm going to get some video of that to share with y'all on this episode of The Cattleman's Wife. Dang, he couldn't have got any closer than that. Huh? I said, honey, you couldn't have got any closer than this. It didn't hit, did it? It didn't hit. But I thought you might be going to. Huh? It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> Bull. We're going to dump these out, load this bull up, take him to another place. This bull here, the, black one, big, the biggest one, he's going out with these cows after we get two more up out of that field. All right. Because uh, got a couple of cows, might be a little kin to them two that's in there, and uh, we don't want to do no uh, Breeding. No inline breeding on this farm. Try not to. Exactly. So, I'll go somewhere else. Right. We'll stay up for backups. Now, we gotta get this one down there. All right. Now, he sees them bulls, these little 
pissed already. I can tell where he's looking. Okay, buddy. Hey. Mm. Come on. Come on. Okay. Let's keep it G-rated for the YouTube. Hey. 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 Go on. Hey. He is not happy. You're welcome. Okay, here comes the next bull. Get back. 
be right caught in the feet. Alright, baby, I'll be ready. Right. And then load them two out? No, they stayed in here. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to bring him out here? Yeah. You want me to open the gate to the pasture? Yeah, if I get him by himself, you can. Okay. All right. It's moving. Hey, buddy. Welcome to your pasture. You've been here before, haven't you? You've spent most of your time over here at this pasture, ain't you, bud? Yeah. We're hooking you up with some girls. Alrighty. Alright. Take this. Just in case you need that. Alright. Just in case I need it. Let's get this bull moved. What'd you say? We got to drive him back to where the cows are. Yeah. Scott and I have been running this bull wall over tarnation. I'm trying to turn him in with these cows. I've just walked a mile back in here. Scott and the bull run off and left me and I've been humping it. Scott's got himself in a pickle. That bull is about to get him. Just scared the cows. They all took off running. <coughs> I'm gonna see what I can do to help him. The whole herd come running to me whenever they saw me come up here, but I ain't got nothing to give them. Hey, babies. Hey.
Yeah. Sukas, come on. Come on. Sukas, come on. Come on. Sukas, come on. I'm trying to get them to follow me so Scott can get that bull over here with them. Sukas. Come on. Come on. Sukas, come on. Here comes Scott with the bulls. There he is. And the cows now are headed back that direction. Hey, Tiger, there you are. Hey, Tiger. Hey, Kitty. Hey, Tiger. Hey there. Hey, Kitty Kitty. Hi. Hi, Tiger. You got a friend at the barn. Who's your great friend? Who is your great friend? He's at the barn. Oh, be a good girl. 